Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to turn right and left in five minutes. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of making right and left turns while driving, and I'm gonna try and keep this video tutorial to around the five minute mark. All right, without further ado, because we're on a timeline, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna start off by showing you how to do this while you are standing still, and then I'm gonna show you while you're moving. So first and foremost, when you're making a right or left turn, what you wanna do is you wanna have proper hold of the steering wheel so I would recommend that you do this with two hands on the wheel as often as possible you can make one-handed right and left turns but try for two hands as often as possible and you want to make sure that you are using the right steering method for whatever is acceptable where you live and for whatever makes you comfortable and whatever allows you to be a safe driver so you can use hand over hand steering like this you can use push pull steering like this and if you're driving with one hand, you can use the palming method with one-handed steering, just like that. Completely up to you and what's commonly accepted where you live. You want to make sure that you're being a safe driver and you're doing what is going to impress the driving examiner if you're taking a driving test um, or just, you know, what's going to make you look like a good driver and be a good driver. When you're making a right or left turn, what you want to do is you want to be able to estimate how much you have to turn the wheel. Now, I can't give you a specific amount because every turn is going to be different for some turns you're gonna have to turn it only a quarter of a turn for other turns right and left turns you're gonna have to turn it maybe half a turn maybe it's in between a quarter and half maybe it's three quarters maybe it's in between half and three quarters it's all dependent on the type of turn that you are doing so you're gonna have to estimate and the best way to do that is practice so when you're making a right and left turn as you're practicing this is what you want to do you want to turn the wheel and hold it throughout the turn then release it. And when you release it, you know, your hands are gonna be around the wheel, but you're not applying pressure. The wheel should turn back. Now the key factor is to know how much to turn the wheel and know when to release the wheel. And the best way is practice. So I'm gonna show you how you're gonna practice. We're gonna start driving. Let's go ahead and make our way. Because we're on a timer, we are doing absolutely fantastic for time. Let's go ahead and get some practice in. I'm gonna go on these side streets. I'm gonna make some right and left turns. Right now I'm in a relatively empty parking lot. That's where I wanted to start the video. And we're actually gonna go on the side streets here. We're gonna make some right and left turns. So I'm gonna start off by turning right and I'm gonna to come to a complete stop because this is the end of a parking lot where it meets a main road, okay, well a side street. So I'm gonna to come to a complete stop. I'm gonna let the other cars go. I'm gonna do my mirror checks and my blind spot checks on my signaling, um, but obviously the main focus is gonna be on steering, but I will tell you what you have to do with regards to those other things in a moment. I'm gonna turn the wheel, hold it in position, and release it just like that. Now, as you saw there, I had to turn the wheel about 90% of a full turn because that was a very sharp turn. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to turn it that much. Other times you're gonna have to turn it a little bit less. You have to judge the turn in itself. One turn is gonna be very different from every other turn for the most part. But as you saw, I turned the wheel, I held it and I released it. Now for the safety checks. Before you actually make that right or left turn, you're gonna put your signal on right or left well in advance. You're gonna potentially come to a complete stop if there's a stop sign or if you have to come to a stop or you're gonna yield if you have to yield. You're gonna check your rear view mirror. You're gonna check your side mirror on the side that you're turning either right or left. You're gonna check your side blind spot right or left and you're gonna turn. Let's make a left turn up here. Left signal goes on. There's a stop sign. I'm coming to a complete stop. I check my rear view mirror, my left side mirror, my left blind spot, checking for traffic. Now I'm gonna turn the wheel as I accelerate a little bit, hold it here throughout the turn and then release the wheel just like that. Now the key factor is to practice. The first time you might be oversteering or understeering or very left and right as you're turning. You might be, you know, might be very rough, but you're gonna keep practicing. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Signal, rear view mirror, left side mirror, left blind spot, check for traffic. There's a car coming over here. They have the right of way. So I'm just gonna wait for just a moment, just here. Another car coming. My timer's running, so we're hoping that we can make this turn. We're clear. Rear view mirror, left side mirror, left blind spot accelerate as I turn the wheel hold it in position and release we'll do one more without a stop sign um, and I have the right of way here there's no cars no pedestrians right signal goes on checking my rear view mirror my right side mirror my right blind spot slowing down turning the wheel holding it and then releasing it just like that 
And that's basically it. Now, before I end this video, keeping in mind the timer, I'm just gonna go over uh, it very quickly. What you wanna do is put your signal on well in advance, come to a complete stop or yield if you have to, and if you need to, in order to be safe, check your rear view mirror all the time, check your rear view mirror. Then you're gonna check either your right or your left side mirror. If you're making a right turn, you check your right side and your left turn, you're checking your left side mirror, check your right or left blind spot, depending on the side that you're turning towards. Make your movement with your car. So start to accelerate, turn the wheel, hold it in position, release it, and you're good to go. And that's basically it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this driving tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And I hope that I stayed around the five minute mark. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.